My life's work has been the art and craft of designing Bibles, and creating Bible funds has been a central part of that. My desire has always been to create the most beautiful and readable Bibles imaginable. About a year ago, I was presented with one of the truly great challenges of my life. Design new and unique fonts for the three most recognized and beloved Bible translations in the world, the KDAV, NKDAV, and NIV. Initially, I was overwhelmed by the enormity of such an important task. Where do I start? Where do I find inspiration? For the King James, you must first look to history. My search began in Edinburgh, Scotland. This city is old. Many of the shops and buildings are older than the Bible I'm looking for. In the heart of the city, I found several old antique second-hand bookstores. I was quite certain that if I poked around a bit, I would find some very early editions of the Thomas Nelson KJV Bible. Thomas Nelson was founded here in 1798. Unfortunately, no Thomas Nelson Bibles. One of the shop owners was very helpful though. He directed me to the National Library of Scotland, where my search uncovered a family Bible published by Thomas Nelson in 1842. It was set in a less readable typeface named Scottish Modern. So I needed to find a better source of inspiration. The next day I traveled one hour north to the ancient city of St. Andrews. The University of St. Andrews is the oldest in all of Scotland, and its library has a world-renowned collection of old books. And there I found what I was looking for, the Noevum Testamentum. It's a New Testament published and produced by Thomas Nelson in 1844. To my delight, it was typeset with a distinctive typeface, a Scottish Roman typeface. As I turned the pages, studying each carefully, I thought to myself, this has the potential to be recreated as a modern Bible typeface. Creating a new typeface is far more than the artistic process. It's about creating a tool for communication. And when the medium is a Bible, we take great pride and care in the details. We begin the design process by sketching, drawing and refining signature glyphs by hand. The initial glyphs are digitally outlined, but the continued design process is a journey of working back and forth between hand drawing, evaluating print and making digital adjustments. For example, adjusted the weight, balance, rhythm, proportion, textual color and spacing. Why do we labor so carefully over this process? This is not just our work. This is our calling. To make Bibles that are beautiful, useful, easy to understand and more enjoyable to read. To create typefaces that give shape to the words. Crafted with precision and purpose. <laughs>